What's going on, everybody? It is your boy John from the Game Dude here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the latest episode, oh, this trial got heated to the point of insanity. I swear, I am a nervous Nelly. I am a wreck. I don't know what the heck's gonna happen, but what I do know is that one of my S tiers is on the hot seat. And we said it from the jump that this could be the case. And here we are, potentially confirming said suspicions. <sighs> Again, I'm a nervous Nelly. I'm a freaking crazy person right now. If, if my suspicion and my thought process was indeed correct, I am going to be the one upset gamer duo. But whew, let's find out how truthful our situation is. Oh, Monica Mathieter. Wow, the trial is racing towards a thrilling conclusion. Do you know who the culprit is? I really hope I don't, but I think I do. Obviously, I know, because I know everything. Yeah. What? Know everything? Yeah. Know everything? <laughs> Daddy knows everything about anything. He's basically traded his bearhood for godhood. Yes, he has been. Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 I'm obviously a bear. Isn't it obvious? Right, you guys? Right? <gasps> yeah, you sure ain't a fish, but you damn sure smell like one. Now then. Anyways, since I know everything, I'll give you the whole story later. Try your hardest to nab the culprit and believe me, that's no lie. If I lied, I would shake the game into its very foundation. <laughs> so trust me and please enjoy the class trials without any worries. Bye. My, oh, Monokuma and the Cubs Theater. Ooh, I didn't catch that. I feel like we're getting close to the glory part. It's making me nervous. I don't know who the culprit is, but I'm not paying attention, so it's okay. No, you're not, Monotaro. No, you're not. You're right. But there's one thing we do know. <laughs> what is it? The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. I suppose that's one lesson you can take away from this case. I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will grow from the stump. something already your tongue-tied silence speaks volumes i fucking knew you were the culprit but wait just a minute none of that is possible shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout when are you suggesting shuichi killed rantaro were you really together the whole time exactly maki huh? what do you mean I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Whole in bold. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. I'm going to check the basement. I'll come with you. No, you stay here and keep watch, Kaede. So that's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. No! Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone! Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction. Even if Shuichi did go to the basement, he couldn't have killed Rantaro because... Even if Shuichi did go to... No. Oh, oh, it didn't reset. I'm dead. Ah. Oh, no. What do you think I should do? I don't think I can do this anymore. Is everyone suspecting me? 
Hmm, done debating already? Well, the next part is the mandatory, so let's get it over with! Voting time! <laughs> So I was really off then. I get it. The security alarm didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Who set the security sensor on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? Huh? Then, I'll set up the cameras that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Let me take care of the security sensor on the top of the bookcase. And well, set the cameras near each door. Yeah, Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? Oh! No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm? A lie. Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker. No, at this rate, everyone's going to think Shuichi is the culprit. I have to do something. I know for a fact that he's not the culprit. I gotta do something. Why did we, how do we know for a fact? From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Your truth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles. Please uh, time your truth bullets just right so they won't get interrupted by the white noise. You can use the silencer with A to shoot them down. Now, why would you do that? Because not only does it make it easier to shoot the weak spots, you will also get additional time. What a great deal. Use it to your heart's content. Thank you for the opportunity. Receivers on Suichi, the photos, the lockout classroom. Was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Suichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Suichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. Suichi couldn't have had the sensor on him. That's right, and I should have evidence that proves it beyond a shadow of a doubt. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Suichi had it the whole time. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Suichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, I love the font. Someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. <coughs> like the way that the fonts and they did that in this game is so visually appealing. The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase is. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Wait a minute. This is weird. If 
the security sensor wasn't placed, then... We wouldn't have been able to take that picture. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Oh, that? Psh, easy to explain. Well, you see... Uh... I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. You're giving up that easily? Yeah... I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken in. So you see, Shuichi can't be the culprit. He still can be, but not by that no, method. Wait just a minute. Ex thank you, Ryoma. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. That's exactly where I was thinking. Huh? How come? That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's going to check the basement, he actually goes to the library. Exactly. To the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. Yes. Ryoma, you are saying exactly what I was thinking. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. Exactly. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. <sighs> How needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer. What a plot twist! Wait, why do you guys think he's the culprit? Shuichi, please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Because it was my fault. Because I did it. Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not culprit, are you? There he is! Hey, he's you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Do it. Are you okay with being the culprit? Ooh. Are you ready to turn yourself in? <laughs> that noise when Angie started talking was so demonic. What should I do? Everyone else suspects Suichi. There's no way he's the culprit, but even so. Why wouldn't won't Suichi say anything? Is there a reason he won't say anything? If that's the case, then it's all up to me to protect everyone I need to take control of this debate. Even if it means I have to lie to do it? What? What? Did you hear that? A lie? Why would you lie? Now, this sounds crazy, telling a lie in a class trial, but sometimes telling a lie is a necessity to reach the truth! Oh, but don't worry, there is- there are no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, there will be times in a debate where you're gonna have to lie. Before you refute the lies, or before you had to refute the lies, but now you're gonna actually have to lie yourself? Doesn't that get your heart pumping? Here's how it works. A there, select a truth bullet like a normal non-stop debate. But when you, you hold the Y button, the truth bullets will become lie bullets with the opposite meaning. Uh, releasing Y will shoot the lie bullet. When you use a lie bullet to argue or agree with a, someone's statement, it'll become perjury. A, a statement that paints over the truth with lies. While lying, your influence grade gauge will drain. A successful lie will restore it. This means if you miss your lie bullet, you will take damage, so be careful. And also, also I've heard a rumor that there's a secret way to advance debates. It's called a back route. Let's just say... That it is only for those who lie well will be able to find it. 
Thank you much, Lee. A lie? Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. What? Shuichi also had the receiver. But he had it turned off. And so when Rantaro moved the bookcase, a picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer, Shuichi hid in the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro. And then he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase <coughs> and returned to the lookout spot. I know we have to lie about it, I think. Afterwards, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Praise be to Atua. We've solved this case. So Shuichi was just using Kaede. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. I'll turn this lie. Ah! Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Ah! Why are we actually... Forgot? To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. Kaya! Oh my god, we're actually lying! Huh? Oh no! So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. What the fuck? If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? I feel terrible! Uh, of course! Come on, would I lie to you guys? I feel terrible for lying! That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meat bags. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Like less than three? Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. I feel... Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? Oh, Kyo, you already know. You know me too well, buddy. <laughs> I most certainly have, at least. God, Kyo and I would so fucking be best friends. I'm sorry. Look how creepy you are. I'm sure that person didn't want your love. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I kind of also agree with that. Go here, too. Kaede and Shuichi are pretty buddy-buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. No, I wouldn't either. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. See, lying never gets you anywhere, kids. Just saying. I, I, I am actually upset that we had to lie. I am legitimately upset. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe, Kaede? Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now, which is classic degenerate male behavior. Everything is classic degenerate male behavior, according to Tanko. Yeah. I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. I agree, Kibo. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right! I agree! 
but I don't know if Ottawa agrees. Cause right now it's his nap time. Oh, how bloody convenient. This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. Hold on. What? Split? Did you just say split? You did! I heard it! I heard it with my belly button microphone! So wait, your ears don't do anything? The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own Morphenomenal Trial Grounds! Morphenomenal Trial Grounds? What, yeah, what do you mean by this? The Trial Grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that! Either way, we have to do something. We can't vote for Suichi because he's definitely not the culprit. If we vote for him, all hope is lost. But I won't be able to I won't be able to save anyone. But I haven't lost hope yet. I won't give up. Before we can save everyone, I need to make sure that we are all on the same page. You're split down the middle. At times like this, debate scrums are perfect. In a debate scrum, you will split into two teams. Then you will argue your opinions against each other. But look, everyone's so fired up, the subjects of your statements don't match. That's not how you debate at all. You have to match your subject with your opponents and put them in the correct order. That's how you make a good debate. S your side subject keywords will be displayed but your opponent's subjects will not be revealed yet. Listen closely for the subject your of your opponent's argument. Before your opponent finishes with their statement, find the same subject keyword with the arrow P key, and then press Y to argue the subject with the same keyword. If you and your opponent's arguments match, your opponent's keyword will be revealed. When all the statements match up, you will enter the finale and try and convince your opponent all, all your opponents at once. Continuously tap the button displayed on the screen to push your opponent's claim out. Don't get pushed back, but push their claim out of for a perfection, or don't get pushed back, push their claim back for a perfect ref, ref, refutation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Splo what in the world? Uh So some are going to be on our side and others are going to be on... Suichi is the culprit. Suichi isn't the culprit. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. If our points don't match, we won't be able to make a convincing argument. I'm going to convince the cult everyone here that Suichi is not the culprit. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Kibo! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Kaito! Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. Eyes. Kaito! Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? 
Oh, I got it. Okay. Oh, shit. No! I actually had the receiver. Okay, I got how this works now. Okay, 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 okay. You what you knew about the camera engine. You hid I got what you knew this. about the camera interval, Shuichi. Hid what you knew about the camera interval. Gota. But Mew silent about intervals too. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had hid what you knew about the camera interval. Gota. But Mew silent about intervals too. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an Akibo. Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi Akibo! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede. I'll do it! We'll there it is, okay. To lie when we talk this through. Now I okay. Unlike Shuichi. You hid what you knew about the camera interval. I'll do it. Ah no! Oh, whether or not it's a lie. We talk this through. This is the minigame I could sit for a long though, time for. What you knew about the camera interval. Gota. But Mew silent about intervals too. Shuichi, I actually Kaito. Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede were Hirumi. Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi Kibo, Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Ka I'll do it. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. You have to believe me. Shuichi is not the culprit. <laughs> if we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice. And if that happens, everyone will be executed. I definitely won't let that happen, even if it costs me my life. Kaede. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ain't the culprit. Going to believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Well, if Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi, even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realized something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. 